next part we have the crown buttons this part is a uh, very uh, important part because it shows us uh, how will the final crown inside look like and as you can see there is a green part with no cement gap or zero cement gap and the yellow part with uh, 0 0.08 cement gap and in this cut you can see the green parts attached with small diameter of 0 0.02 or 20 microns a space why did I uh, add it 20 microns because the most of the cements have uh, minimal thickness so in case that we uh, put it on the zero it may result in a crown that doesn't sit uh, as it should be so it, I prefer to point uh, 20 to 25 microns in this part and uh, also it depends on your milling machine and how accurate it is and how calibrated it uh, is it so it uh, it's an uh, something that you should find uh, with the results in case that your crowns are fit good it means that you do this job properly in case that you have a loose crown it means that we should reduce the gap mark and in case that the crowns doesn't sit it means that we should uh, increase the gap and as you can see in case that I increase the gap margin uh, there is a problem with the area uh, other than the no cement gap and also we can increase or decrease the no cement gap or add some special part that we don't want to uh, gap added and also we can use uh, other parts okay in this part uh, the software let us choose the library the library means what's the shape of the test that is going to be replaced and uh, generic is uh, one of the best libraries because it's so scalable uh, in case that you uh, transform it or you uh, resize it the shape doesn't get uh, ugly but sometimes we need uh, shapes other than generic and uh, like this case express s1 so it's one of the shapes that is uh, looking so good and it's so uh, fits our design okay as you can see uh, we resized it with uh, shift and we rotated with uh, when we got the control and click with the mouse so we have almost good design but as you can see uh, the cusp is not uh, in proper position and the curve of a speed doesn't look good and now it looks far better okay we can uh, design the cost ridges and marginal ridges so uh, the contour of the teeth and contour of the crown could be uh, placed in the best way it could be okay as you can see I play with cusp tips so put them in the proper position and I can uh, add them with the wax knife or remove them in case that I want uh, to have a special form ok 
Okay, I will check it from every angle. And as you can see, we have uh, lots of intrusion to our neighboring teeth. So what should we do? Let's check again. And yeah. And one important thing in design is having a crown that could be uh, flossed and could be cleaned. So as you can see, we have a part that has a problem. And in this part, the problem is uh, the emergence profile doesn't look good. And for sure, we have some problems with the periodontal fibers and maybe bad odor or gingivitis happen. So we soften the uh, near part of the margins and we check it again whether uh, is there any error or any bad part. Okay, looks good and looks fine, beautiful. Now, when we are happy, we can proceed to next step. In case that we have, uh, we can do some final adjustments. It's better to be done here and not let it uh, stay in uh, when you are going to check the restoration of the mouse. The problem still uh, stays and you have lots of problems adjusting with neighboring teeth and adjusting with uh, other teeth. Once we are uh, done, it's better to recheck everything, including the neighboring teeth, including the uh, opposing teeth. And in case that we are happy with everything, we could uh, proceed to production. Mm -hmm.